And everyone come here now. <clears throat> everyone come here now. Yes, yes, yes. I'm always on the way to Jamaica to make a music video. Our last song no sound too bad at all, though. That a good skin, queen skin will bad the no boy. Eh? <laughs> Why? When I stressed out in life, you know, sometimes you have to laugh, you know. You can't go to make it take you down. Sometimes you have to laugh. When the stress comes, you can't take you down. You have to laugh. You know, so you take you for other people's business. Well, that's why you go tonight. <laughs> Hello, good night, loved ones. Rope and come in. Wow, boy, la so soap. <laughs> Wild wow, tonight, I'm so soap. <laughs> hello, hello, the man wanna have good body, stand up, body, stand up, body, stand up, put your hand on your say thank you, Jesus, and try to be a good man so your body wants to go far along and can't turn up. <laughs> hey, I you live a house with a man. So I'm on the car and I'm too much on the too greedy and the belly too big and okay, I can't function and I'm all function. <laughs> come on, rope and come in. Yes, boy, yes, you, yes, you, what's her name, the husband, eh? Lord, God Almighty. I'm not ready to start yet. How you doing? How you doing? Good night. Yes, 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 you ever watch the mommy, them? Lord Jesus. Tell me who for husband look like mommy. <laughs> the cure mommy, they were in a casket, darling. Good night, good night, good night, oh. How you doing tonight? God is good and God is great. And remember, anytime I smoke that shit, I talk that shit and I don't give a shit. Hallelujah. <laughs> How you doing, darling? Rope and come in. <laughs> oh, I big up Jamaica. Where you say, yeah, big up yard always and love you say, Mr. Big Old Man, the man, the roast bread food and the run down. Rope and come in, party scene. Yes. We have a lot to talk about. Amari went to London and then she had to wait to Jamaica to do our music video. And the last song no sound too bad. That means the Queenie going to get her slam. You know, tell her so she better than Queenie. A two old foot around, but Amari I win right now, you know. Fear her voice, how she makes some song. You see, you have the talent there. And he catch the last one, catch the bad and the sound. Good, you know, into the two parts. You know, when I say I'm the first time, you listen to you, you know, say I'm the first one. And the last, he good. Me tell us I have more talent more than Queenie. Yes, yes, yes. Me tell you because me I tell us me see all Queenie in a dance hall and for perform. What a shame me. I mean, you know that the EJ is supposed to can buy one better piece of clothes and put on. Missus, when I go on stage, I know see you old. One look at old fit for kind of carry off. I will kind of cheap old fit then she wear on stage. We go perform and every time she go perform, she can perform with the crowd and dance and take over. What a shame me, darling. Hmm. What a shame. I mean, like her, you know. Me like and I get me wrong, but me have to talk. Yes, brother. Eh? What a same thing, eh? Then the old fit them away look like they come from pretty girl. My God. And they say they want to go a dance hall. You know, you anything from Spice? <laughs> well, Spice over man, they say that it'll go at me, you know. She'll go get silence for a while. That's why I say Maca Diamond and all of them start to come, you know, because Spice over pipe bus. <laughs> Whoa, oh, they tie down and let out of the zoo, then let them all out of the zoo, all of Maria run from England to Jamaica. Why do you have a pipe bus with you, brother? Spicy, have you come tie them down again, please? You can't take too long, them get out of hand. <laughs> Whoa, them get out of hand, darling. <laughs> them get out of hand, because they have a record. I try for win the race and then came and dance. You see, when do we come up back a queenie? And she bend over like this, I go like she a young girl. You see, when she bend over like this, like she a young girl. Eh? And do we jump back around thing and, and if I forget why, she start to stumble like a jumping man. She lay up on the ground and turn like seven, I know like her belly that hurt her, she'd have diarrhea. Because I couldn't perform, she perform in front of all that crowd with a piece of jeans, shorts on. Not even nice to go open to say, well, you know, you're old. And you have to buy a nice little outfit to bring off your style. You know, bring off your sitting because you're old, you know. You look a boots, but you look a pum pum shorts. And you know, you're sitting there and look, you look different. Just you look like a real star, like you're a real queen then. You understand? I saw a little pretty girl sitting she have on, you look like. A pretty girl jump out, run out there, come out with it and like this, like a lunatic. In darling, when I see fool like that, then fool not right, you know. At least I'm already trying to go in style. That's the plus I see him, you know, we're in a push up, bra, and in British, they hang down flat sometimes. Like when cow 
can't suck out the cow breasts. And he just hang there sometime. But he have talent. He have talent. Even though them breasts, them squeeze flat down sometimes and put on a brazy. And he just lengthen the piece of skin. But he have talent. I'm telling him that Amari was going to beat him and he can't go up against Amari. But he never believed me until when Amari. Let me tell you something. A long time Amari wanted to go over dance hall and she and was going at spice with it. Because she said she got to battle with her. And she has to win. Well, I never know. So she's so serious. She's serious to Ross because the last song when he sing, you know, it happen. And it's a hit song. So that is a hit, that hit queen of the battle world right now. That is a hit where hit queen of the battle world right now because she can't sing like Amari. Amari have a different kind of unique voice. I take watch out of what I don't want to do while I talk and go shit by myself because darling, this is a story of sweet. Yes. So right now, Amari is on the way to Jamaica to do what music video. Sick or rhyme, I do it. Fear. Hey. In my dweet, sick or I my dweet fear. In my dweet, sick or I my dweet fear. In my dweet, sick or I my dweet fear. And in my dweet fear. Queenie, why? You have to bubble when you can't take young boy. You have to bubble my father for your young boy. I mean, no way, look like you look like a mummy, like a mummy for him. Well, if I do it real good, when I'm up on the head of a dance, you look like a mummy. The head big on him, body. When you put head up on a dance, him look like a mummy. <laughs> See his skin out on him head, he look like a mummy. You know, the mummy them, the Egypt in the casket there. And like skin, you can dry out like, they, 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 they. Your mummy fire them or something, you call a mummy fire. You don't know if a mummy fire. I must see butterfly, but anyway. Yes, nobody can call me names, so. They must come out in the dance and the was here. Yeah, I jump up past stage, Queen is she. I should not know arithmetic. Lord Jesus. They want to be dance all queen and then I have no arithmetic. No arithmetic. Eh? <laughs> Why? Lord, no good wine me to have wine me in a shelter. I got me have. I no good wine me to have wine me in a shelter. I God may have. Yes, darling. So, hey. <laughs> yes, darling. <laughs> you know, me I was all kind of bunch of clothes in a bag with me just pull out something. You never know. You know, just pull out and look like a bomb outside. Just pull out something. Me have to open a bag with tag for them. Stick up one tag and draw on it backside. And come out for them. Because they know, I know, like a substance. Queenie really don't know it. No, look at stuff stamps. I'm going to go past it. How can I outfit them there? My God. I'm a pretty girl. I think I'm going to have young man. I have on them. The outfit. I'm going to see my outfit before you see me. Because remember, I said, oh, little darling. <laughs> remember, I said, oh, all right. So, my outfit have to stand out and my ear and everything. You see it far before you see me. You see the outfit are coming and some shocking color. Some, some kind of sitting with some rhinestone and so all kind of same thing. You understand me? So when you see me, you know, say me had the blood clad. Queen. Eh? Them a queen. Uh, our kind of queen. Them a zine them. A zine them. Our kind of queen. Them a zine them. What kind of queen and a zine them? What kind of queen and a zine them? Zine them, zine them, zine them. Yeah, the boy maga, the boy maga bad. Yeah, so but it's what they deserve each other because when you see your maga, we ain't done. Yes, I well, couldn't find nobody no better. Trust me, my feel glad to get a wife. Because I'm a film condition and eat caramel porridge and chicken back soup for more than six months. My God, eh? You must see a little boy, Marga and Tanso, eh? He look like when he strip off a tough chicken back. Eh, darling? Hey, <laughs> hey, And in the funny head of dance, what kind of man did that? Any man do them kind of thing, like a woman a skin up on top of your head? And if foot them dry, and if foot them want scrub, and a pedicure foot, but them dirty. Foot butter them dirty. Me want my man, my me, me, me foot fetish. I'm a love man with pretty foot and pretty toes. Your foot butter, I'm gonna never dirty your maga, so your maga till I sick drunk or tomorrow. Me couldn't do with you. Hey, hey, hey. No, I feel glad we didn't get <laughs> in that lane. <laughs> when the smoke don't blame me for anything. Good. Yes. I am not being blamed. Right now I'm stressed out. I gotta I gotta talk and get this shit out. Just leave me alone. Just let me be myself and maybe I will ease my pain. Okay. So yeah, you look like a mummy. And his skin will put up by it and I dance. I don't know what kind of man there them something there. Real young man. Yes, he's saying something wrong. He head slow. He's slow on the head part there. 
And that's all, they could have fine. That's why they're not good no more. They want to go to the dance hall, come go on at them at this and that. They can look good when they walk inside for the crowd. They want to do. And eh, 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 then can't make your body start to bust. Oh, then I know if you make body bust, you know. Hey, then I know if you make body bust, you know, darling. My body is so start to swell like you inject with baking soda. Swell up. Body is swell up like you have to inject it with baking soda. Mm -hmm. Like when you put too much baking soda in a dumpling and your body is just a swell up feel. So it just a take time and a vibrate. And every time it's really come bigger and bigger. And it just a expand. Yes, darling, them can't do that. Eh? Like one girl tell me, to, darling, my middle is mine, man. My man, mine. Huh? It's a good girl. Lucky for you, darling. Lucky for you. Lucky for you, me can't no one know lucky for you. Mm -mm. Yes, but when a man expand like that, he's a good man. Better than him stay down too small. I'm better in that bow in salute. That means he's soft and he's gone to bed. That means my malfunction. Rectal function and some stuff. I don't know what they call it. But at the boy, the mag, I said he's sick, drunk, a tomato, he needs chicken back soup. Queen husband needs chicken back soup. Lord, God, and Carmel Parish. When the female had a feeling when my baby pan Carmel Parish, I wish she would give me my guy. You look like myself and my you, she shone. <clears throat> and she wanted to be a big star and drag the pole like a child around. My God, eh? she can't stick with one. So I don't wonder why you say she beat him for two. Because you can't beat him because you say no, you can't do much. Because I'm underweight, you can't do much when you beat him. <laughs> hey, child, what are you doing? <laughs> Good night, love. Yeah, man, make a diamond and come out. I do something with Queen away there. All of a sudden, she free. She did baptize the last time and so she has seen God. <laughs> me she turn back hour. But me like, me love make a diamond. But she kind of come out of the prison. Since Spice gone, a lot of them start to come out. Lisa, I start to come up on the market. Everybody trying to jump fast as they can before Spice come. Why? You come like when you put cheese, you have a whole bunch of rata, you let them out. And I'm going to try the cheese quick, quick, quick and try to get you. Because I don't want to get you on the trap. Boy, I'm here telling you, I move fast right now. America, uh, I'm Maria, I move fast from private jet from England to Jamaica. Yes, and yes, from America to England and from England to Jamaica, she moving fast. And that song that she has is a hit song, you know, the last song. Eh? She still a go go hell, see you. Eh? But it sound like you have the Holy Spirit in it. She put something like it sound like some kind of Holy Spirit or something in it. I don't know. But anyway, I saw it, I go, darling. Yes, the two old foot them still around, but Queen is out. Queen is completely out, man. She's done. Queen, you have too much cellulite on her leg. She just has too much goddamn cellulite. I'm married, Marga, and shrivel on one and that much cellulite enough. She has a prettier leg. And you come in a dance, and all them shrivel up like with a stocking sitting on. Now, God, darling, and I hand them shrivel up too. You see, I'll put her Wendy up on her and them shrivel up. And the Wendy sitting, you couldn't wear one long sleeve dress. With net, if you're trying to be so young, put out your breast out, and hold your hand shrivel up. Queen, you can't make it in a dance hall, yeah, man. You have too much cellulite and you can't dance. <laughs> and you know what you want, Mary? I'm Mary, not say 100%, you know, but you have a prettier leg, you know? And you sit in a guan, you understand me? And you can't suck, you know, and, and so on. And and you have different, you, know, you can't make different, you know what I'm saying? Different song, each song. You, you have talent. You know, when the devil like him, you know, because like me said, they're not right, they're not on the right side. They're not on the right side. And the devil make anything sound good. But I don't go hell and me, if I don't got them a sing for. I know me, me just attack. Me just attack. Let me talk and free myself, me in here. Me inside here. You see what me here? You see me there? You see what me come to? Me very same talking while they open me come to this, but me still attack. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> yes, darling. <laughs> and yes, I love it too. So, basically, what happened? <laughs> I'm already cleaning right now the bottle, eh? When she hear the voice and hear the last song I'm married, there's no way she can match up to that. She can't, she not have enough energy because of her age when she sings. She not have enough energy to push. <laughs> I'm married younger than her, you know. Yes, man. I'm married younger than her and Queenie, of course. It told my whole foot same way, but the end of the day is I'm married a beat her. When she can rhyme, take the chance and I'm married, did a good thing because guess what? She have the talent and she need help long time. But two spice that they are now, then get away. 
Then go to now, but to mix the spice to come back quick because when spice come at the whole and the gamma down to zero. Me I tell you right now, when spice come, once she come, that's it. You know, pack on a bag and I'm going. <laughs> you see? <laughs> don't, don't waste your time. Wait until spice come. You know, start run like a wire rat. Boy, when spice come. And imagine spice, she just come and I want to go accept the Lord and come back, right? And come back with some rib, then missing on her waist, small. And she step out and say, boy, and now crowd I go follow me. I don't care because they want to see me the way I look my business anyway. Imagine that and the father just turn them back in. Because people now go so interested again, you know. When spice come back, if not, not dream and so bad, and he out for a while, we're going to talk and not come. People don't have time when they come back again, that's so how people stay. They easy to forget shame. I like shame. Now we try, we cry, we pray, we fasting. We do everything and you're out and everything good and you know, come and say for two words. We don't come back in a business with your man. Go and buy your business. Go and buy your business, darling, because uh, RT, Alex say now, go work for her again, you know. So you know, so things are going to go bad because she need RT, Alex, to kill the goat them. Yes, I might kill the goat them and get the milk and beer there and all kind of same thing. Darling, we thought that she can't make it, you know. I said that I go and bad now because a long time she not check him. If she not check him, all kind of things could have come out. I'm going to take out all that rip, she not still all right. But you didn't check him and see, and he said, if you don't check me, something is going to happen in 2023. Now, go have no career. I am say so, and my darling. I saw it go along, but, but Queenie, I have no career. Queenie, going to go sit down, bad man. I'm sorry for Queenie, you know, because I like her. But when we look at Queenie's condition, she just want care. She only her own care. You understand me? You know, when people come in your home and care and cook food for you, so and make sure relax, make sure get bed relax, relax herself. Yes, man. And that a young boy that we should take up on fear. That luggage they had for carry, brother. Me don't know. Because him coming like a retarded kid, you know, you have, you have to help him out. You know? <laughs> Why me I tell him, I got bad, brother? In condition, she drank out of my money. If you drink some camel, probably drink some chicken back soup. They pant up a year that dance. What kind of man do them same thing, the darling? Eh? And your wife post it and call your wife your semi wife. Hmm? I'm living in some life. I'm not living in a garden. That's what the devil are right. The devil are riding me. Can't do that, you know. A devil are riding me. See, panda pie, the devil. And he look like a mommy. Can't dry out to put them maga. Yes, yes. Maga for them dirty foot button. Them dirty like them. They need some dirty girls. So for wash them with them look bad color. Foot button them. Skin out. On a cheap, cheap, cheap bed sheet. On a cheap bed sheet. You know what I mean? <laughs> When come on social media, so I want to show up and you can buy a good outfit for your skin out and have to go on stage. First stage appearance. Second stage appearance. What the fuck are you wearing? I don't know what you're wearing. But I don't know where you're going anyway. You're going to hell. You know, if you wear really better still, because I'm going to go anyway. Anyway, something better. You know, wear something better. You still got hell. You're just bound to hell. It's all witchcraft. Eh? <laughs> Lord of mercy. Why? Anytime I smoke that weed, I have deep confession. And people might not like you. Yeah, man, spice over man, mess up. Spice and mess up bad over man. You hope you know you know help, you know. You were treat them dry down. And they feel the spice, spice. I will turn to God. Turn to God right now. But the big over man, but you know, you can't wait because you're walking and dance all the skin out. But if you ever come back, you see the amount of rat neck that molecule with the rest of Prince Charles. Because if you go to anything and come back, they call skin out. That means I respect God. We never have to respect you. Because we respect God, so we can't send you. God, I shake by you. Vice Carter, when you're coming out of jail, you must come out, man, and open my church called Vibes Church. Vibes Cartel Church. You know? Yes, Vibes Cartel should come out and be a minister, pastor, and preach. In talk about all the gritting and the baggy and all everything else. I'm loving, but the time people preach now. You see, God having people and for you and people, and God can punish you sometimes, punish you sometimes until you listen to him. If you come out a preacher, come out a preacher, and you come out of prison now. God make him get loose and come out now, man. But you have to turn to God. Can't sit long in the continue, you know. You have to try something else. One thing in our for so much of years. You have to try something else. Try Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's a good father, God, you know. I'm alone, may have. Sometimes I feel so down, yes, but I'm alone, may have. Yes. So that is what's going on on social media now. After they mix up, I go on. You know, Lisa, I ever try to get back on track, you know, and so on. And them say, you know, she used to suck my vice cartel body a lot. And he used to fill her mouth with gum. Lisa, I, but you know what? You see her mouth kind of fat and hang out the two sides of them. 
Like she's very good at that sucking because I'm out calling and tell the story of her life. In darling, I mean like her, you know, but I go call my name. But I'm out calling of them. You see, I'm out calling of them, or them fat, this hype. Yes, man, me say she's a suck cartel body enough. She love him too, and enough of them suck the man body. Then wicked in, and I saw them suck your soul out there, you know, through your body. That's why I end up in there. You're sucking soul, sucking soul, then you end up in there. Yes, that's all right. That's all right. But I mess with your soul. Just mess with your soul. Suck the souls out. Right your little wallet. The soul come right out. Little by little, like a suck suck in a hard time. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
say the put building for tear for dress. You know you can't come and say nothing, no matter what I say about you. You understand, Queenie? You and I know so you can't come to me. You and I know that. You should have done come already. You can't come, can you? You can't come with You leg them full of silly light and you're old. You understand me? Your legs are more transparent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Them shit need to be smoothed out. You know what I'm saying? If you could go to the doctor and get your face injected, it don't look too bad from the injection that they put in it. Try to keep it up, you know, and so on. God bless you. What? Find God. Find God, man. Just find God, man. Yeah, I go through too much now with this dance. <laughs> Same thing, yeah. And in an old fit, you hope and man. Find God, man. Just see, yeah, I go through too much now. See, me go through a lot to me if you find him. If you find him, see me behind the net. Right here, behind the net. So where I live behind this net here. The shelter. <laughs> You understand it? I pull this part down here. Mm -hmm. I pull this part here because I'm going live, but you see? Usually I have that blue piece tie up here and it ties up. I live behind the net. <laughs> so, welcome to my house. <coughs> right. And that's the ceiling with net also. So, I get inside here. It's my blanket. See, I net the other side as well. And then at the top. So anybody in the mattress and any dust or anything can fall on for me anywhere. Everywhere is net around. And I close it in. So <clears throat> and sit. And then I pull this one up because I'm going live now. And <clears throat> tie it up. <laughs> yes. And after I tied it up then, as you can tell, it's no, you see, it's um, yeah, like from the outside. Yes. So nobody see me when they come inside here. The room. So not take it down because I'm talking to you guys. But now it's better than being outside. It's not a good feeling, but it's better than nothing at all. God is great, but you know, I have to talk about someone at this point. Yeah, the stage appearance never good at all. She looked terribly silly like my leg and she was old, you know, and um the silly like them in the leg. The outfit never nice, you know. Outfit never nice at all. You know when I get a like a pretty girl she go buy the outfit. They might call more okay, most pretty girl. Because yeah, come out and say yeah, star and people are watching, yeah, run for dance hall queen. At least thing you can do, I go ahead and get some good outfit for put on. And nice boots when you walk out. Not you good eh? Old foot, yeah, no matter what me old foot to yeah, what me not run on dance hall, me run on Jesus. I'm running down Jesus. Hallelujah. Me send she a sing bo hallelujah. All she not sing bo hallelujah. Cause me listen her sing the song she a nice voice, but it never thrill me. That's when what the devil has sing. Me say me listen to the girl, she have nice voice, but she never thrill me. That's when I say the devil has sing. I sing. Me feel the difference that the Holy Spirit is not there, even though the song been sing. Trust me, me know the feelings. You understand me? The devil do all kind of sing for trick here now. Why me she have snake in her one hand? And she a go down to hell and make sacrifice and she a, and the next minute she a, she a, she a sing hallelujah. And the hallelujah doesn't touch me so I listen to the song and it do not touch nothing on me. Usually when I have high school and it connect to the Holy Spirit, my body run cold. They get like a fine bump and sitting by me king. Not a thing now happen to me. Me say hear the devil a sing. Yes, darling. And the second time I wear that wig and I take it off and me done and put it where I wash off the makeup. So I said, I'm going to suck to put on it back again because I eat I bring the spirit. Lord, me, I must scratch my skin, so. Yes, darling, I'm here. Beauty come to the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> Beauty come to the eyes of the beholder. Beauty come. Some girl body full of cellar. Light fell a light like a stop light and a jelly light. Some got the body full of cell light and cell light and cell light. Queen, the body full of cell light and cell light and cell light. Queen, the body full of cell light and cell light, cell light and cell light. So she had the queen of dance hall, so she was his dance hall. 
Look on her body, it's a fall, it's a fall, cellulite, cellulite, cellulite. She got the cellulite like a pepper light. She got the cellulite like a pepper light. <laughs> Dance up in Amari. All you are suffer within the spirit, poor you. I hope God keep you safe, mama. You're really suffering in the spirit. To and fro. <laughs> Seeking for salvation, don't it? <laughs> that sweet little feeling, make it comfortable. I got it. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, whatever. Listen, me not for bad mind people in that one thing. Me not nothing for bad mind for me. Poor all of it not for bad mind. Because what them I do, me can do better. Me can do better and what them I do. So me not have a bad mind. I mean, choose not to. So me not nothing for bad mind for. Me can bad mind for God hell. Yeah, I talk about bad mind. Go, go. Me not go tell her which part for go head off and jump off a Brooklyn Bridge because I'm a child of God. Me not know it's a bad mind. You know you're full of silly light, Queen. You don't come over here. And who not invoke the old woman of a fine God who not wicked because I don't want to go, I go hell. May the woman save her soul, Jerusalem. I love you too, but I can talk what I want because God is coming and my brain got to be free. So what if I want to talk? I have a right to talk. I'm in this shelter here. Let me talk now. So the woman have silly light and she old. She shouldn't know dance and no shots or jump on no. She'll get heart attack. She can't manage. I don't me I tell you no. The love for me for her is good. You tell her previous love your sister. You must tell her the truth. God also no got help because the staff no conscience to people too much. And the time for your staff your conscience, the time for you be honest with the person. You don't like something, just tell them. You know, when you love them, you just tell them. But don't, don't, don't act like you all want to be a hypocrite. When you say the woman might just fall out on the stage, you don't must stop it, man. I said to the woman, husband need, 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 ma, she, me, ma, you, she, she, the man need help too. Because she not cook no good food with the husband and she has suck him out. She has ride, ride, maybe me, and I take a little you to him, having a female suck out, and I see, you look like mommy, I look like a mommy fire. I'm not going to steal the stuff for no conscience. Huh? Yes, yeah, 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 so, so, think them wrinkled over. Yeah, good. Day, well, I don't know. I'm just saying. Thank you. I'll come to me because guess what? Me come in like a pit bull and we tear off them piece of old drawers and expose where they are between them crutches. Thank you. I'll come for me because I have the blood of Jesus for run dopey and them are dopey. Thank you. I'll come for me because me have the blood of Jesus and the blood of Jesus run dopey and them are dopey. Them are for run. So thank you. I'll come to me because me lie too powerful. Me destroy them backside. Well, none of them can come for me. can talk or me want to talk. And then can't come for me. Then can't even try. Can me fry them like a fish in a tile. Where them come ago? Where them drink even men of up on stage go make appearance and dance with them own crowd. They think they can't come to me. Me use my tongue and lash them and beat them. And I can't take them about shelter and this and that. I don't care about that. Me take my tongue and lash them like a mama long lashy tongue. Make them come for me. Then can't come for them. I have to steal back. My light is too powerful to destroy the darkness. The my darkness. The my old crow. Can't come for me, come for me way. Come for me way, you can't go to Jesus Christ and come to me and make unto Jesus Christ and have the most higher power. You are a joke, man. Talk your mind when you have God, bro. Talk your mind when you have God. And don't be afraid of nobody because some people want to go like say they have more power than God. And they not seek God. I'm already a kick skin right now. And I'm going to kick skin and hell see you way. But the last son, the last son, we're going to miss it. So I'm good for kick Queen at the ass because Queen can't sound like that. She now have that type of vice, that type of talent. And just to shoot. Whether you want to like it or not, I mean, I name them something, but it's just to shoot. She want to, you know, be famous before she famous. She want, she said she want to what? Famous before she dies on the other song, the last one when she sing there. It, it, it not sound bad. You know, sound bad at all, but Queenie can't sing like that. What she a gone, me no know. Me look pan it just a disgrace. When I look pan it, I look pan the woman, I look pan her age and just look. 
I said to yourself, so what she a run down, you know, time for she eat some good food and relax herself and try to catch up herself, you know. And you know, like a gym in the house, you can work out and be comfortable. Now, if you have a husband, now he can cook, give and feed, and feed himself. You understand? Him look like him, like him has stuff for my yoshi, and like he need food for feed himself. You know, then? And he ate big on him body. You know, see, he ate big on him whole entire body. I just seen head big on him body, small, small, small. <coughs> Eh? I just said alone he have, you know, like a tie, like a tie by the store, the big head. And like a small man, buddy. <laughs> man need chicken back soup. He need linseed and Irish mash and tree gum. And all kind of same thing, mix up and blend, you hear me? All Cersei in there. He need all kind of same thing, a single Bible. And Cersei and ginger. And all that same thing, they plenty of thing. Why? You need a whole kind of drink for just feeding pan for the whole day. But for drink a certain amount of cup for the whole day for bring him to a real man. Them the kind of man they could never touch him, you know. No, sir. Me one of them in the maga like that in Canada. Them have got any good looking though. He never began anybody. And he good looking, but he didn't so dry out, dry out like that. You know what I mean? And boy, I used to can't send it, brother. I'm saying it, but he have pencil wood. The pencil wood, me like a pencil. The maga like that sometimes he have pencil wood. The maga like anybody, you know. Like a half to half, not developed child, no? So like a one, no, sir. You're not pencil old. So I mean, I know, you could have a pencil old. Yeah. You know, look like you have the tumper shot, nice fat old. Like you have pencil old. Kind of look like you me, my Shishan, you know, and I have enough to spread out. You know, I have enough to spread out, darling. Eh? Uh, so how you doing? Yes, me all fall, but me glad seek God. Me never must seek good now, darling. Me I seek the Father God, the Most High God. I'm alone, me I seek. So it's okay if me all fall, you know. Me love that. Me know they look good, I mean out they look sin. Me know they praise the Lord. Me supposed to as a whole fall. That's the good thing about it. Well, me positive energy, that's why I'm laughing about the situation. How people doesn't have any positive energy. You know, them think them put them energy into foolishness. Like what they're doing, and that's why I say it's funny. And be in time. Then be in time, money. Rock of ages, glad for me. Let me hide myself in thee. I'm going to eat something else, but I don't know what I'm going to eat. I don't know what else I'm going to eat. I feel like I'm going to eat something, though. Yeah, I love it too. I love it too. I just come on to say hello. Say what was on my mind. I say what I was on my mind to say. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I feel hype on a body. Yeah, man. Spice, let them loose them. I run no cause spice. No, there. Go I spice. Make a big impact since you're gone. Everybody start to run left and right. Go I mean, I don't know. So then I run so fast though. I mean, I lie. Out of spice gone. Quick, quick time. Everybody just start to move fast. Girl, you have to come back quick. Come back quick. I bite your come back and marry the queen, but the children they cut him for her walk up and down. <laughs> now marry, I can't sit in for her walk up and down, darling. I'm telling you right now, queen, you have a mouth up my wide. You know that already. She has a what my mouth is, she has her fucking politics. Excuse me, language. <laughs> Girl, if you are bad, but no one could have and scream like that. <laughs> My God, <-y. laughs> no son of it. Mm -mm. Me, me, me. Me not got Jesus Christ, my sick. Oh, my Father God, my sick, darling. The precious blood in my soul, hallelujah. The blood that flowed from Calvary, hallelujah. The blood that waking up this morning, hallelujah. The same God that yesterday and today will give me a chance at life, hallelujah. And the same God I wake up tomorrow morning, make sure because I trust him, hallelujah. When I have to run on a dance hall. <laughs> it's a whole foot, a whole enough left dance hall, long time ago. And I see dance hall, I left them, and I left a dance hall. A dance hall, I left them. That's how bad it is. They refuse to left dance hall until dance hall, I left them. Hey, <laughs> hey, see you got to wipe out and clean up, eh? Got to wipe out and clean up because I'm tired of the sin. 
a skin out pound of head and a skin out pound of hole and a purple and a go on home and now wear modern clothes again and dress nicely, in a nice long dress again. Everybody have sit up on them party. When they walk outside nowadays, they want a short jacket all when they freeze out the door. They have the short jacket way up. That's how they show them batting at them jeans. I think you can just wear a long jacket and go on about their business. It's so important for them batting out the door. <laughs> for sure, your sin catch them. Sin, sin come down right down to the buttocks. That's where it stops, right there. <laughs> it come right down to the buttocks, right here. As look for your face, don't turn on for look for your body. If you see where we are going back there, if them see that so, and then if you see your face, then they want to turn on and to see your face. That's why I don't care about the face. They go and say the body, they don't care if you have your eye mouth and nose. They don't go and say living. And the body, they don't care about nothing else, you see? And so on. Yes, the world is mad, the world is gone mad. The world is gone sad and it's unforgiving the way the world turns. The world turns the buttocks. That's all it turns into. It does all it turn into. Every time a man or a woman pass, a man have some big one, some woman have some big one, man and woman have the same size big one. And everybody looking, you know. Some man looking at this, some man looking at that. They're all looking at the same thing, the buttocks. <laughs> Darling, I'm telling you, this world turned to, that's all it turned to. <laughs> yeah, this skinny little chicken, she dream up and like a tight up in her bottom and pull up on like a jacket and I say, my God, you know the scripture of the Bible. Look at you, no more than 13 and 14. Look how you sitting drip up in your body. Just for a man see when you go to the door. You're so lost. When you're lost in sin, you always have to use your buttocks to prove a point. Because you don't realize you have more than that. You're not just buttocks, you know. You are a human that God made. You're a spiritual person, you know. In your heart, don't for crack your windows a little bit. You know. You're, you're not just buttocks, you know. But everybody looking at you, and that's the only thing they're looking to see. When you turn around or whatever you're wearing, whatever you're doing, it's like that's the only thing they need to see. And that's why the Brazilian, and like I said, the Brazilian costs a lot of that too fuel because everybody looking for that. Everybody looking to see that bump in the back. They want to see that bump in the back. But whether you have bump in the back or not, that doesn't make you the person. It's who you are. It's not the bump in the back, but the whole world become obsessed with the bump in the back. That's all stupid and foolish. I mean, I talk about like Queenie. Queenie really needs something on the back. She she has something on the breast, but she has nothing in the back. And that's worse for stage appearance. She should have found a spice and go down there and try to get her help to at the same time. Because at least we don't hear from her why go on the spice. <laughs> she need if she got a breast like that and say she turned queen, she not know about them. She needs to fix that. I mean love her. That that day, that 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 not go with the top, not go with the bottom. That's all old white baby shape. <laughs> so old um they call him Playboy Bunny, the old play, retire, the old Playboy Bunny retire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah man, yeah, that's all them old Playboy Playboy Bunny old man them when they retire. <laughs> that's how them body look. <laughs> so the light old you know, breast the big old breast when it's a playboy bunny put the breast in you. And you know about it. You understand it? And they turn the body when they come in and retire now and can do it in too old. And that's how she look. <laughs> As I should look now, you know, <laughs> and I retire Playboy money. <laughs> yeah, Playboy used to use them. I had a Playboy man used to get why So some of the toys are sitting there, the boy, they said, Blood a bunny place there, you know. I want sinful bunny ranch that, you know. <laughs> sinful bunny ranch man. So I'm sitting, we used to take over this world, they say, darling. It all comes down to that liquor feeling there when they feel sweet. When they clean them, feel sweet. And you know, so the only spirit sweeter than the liquor feeling, that feeling there's no good feeling. When you come to the Holy Spirit, it's sweeter. When you walk with the Holy Spirit and the universe, you are more at peace, more than that like a feeling. Eh? That like a feeling that you want to help, torment your dopey, follow you up and down, all kinds of your life. If you leave that alone, you meditate, you feel so much better not messing with that kind of thing. Yes, may the Holy tell us something. You pray to God, you meditate, you think about other things, you keep yourself clean, you don't mess around with them things. And may the Holy Spirit deal with you. But the moment you decide to feed into the flesh, feed into the flesh, you're addicted to the flesh. It's like crack and cocaine. You're addicted to the feeling. It's just like any drug addict. You don't realize you're more than the feeling. You're more than the looks. You're more than the body that you've gotten. You know? You're way more than that. It's not everybody going to look the same way like how you want them to look or them to be. The world wouldn't be beautiful. We have different size and shape. Right? But it's who you are inside counts. It's not an outside appearance. Because some girl or some man, them, some man, them, and some man, them, them a devil, broad devil walking around. You have some woman, them pretty like what? And they, they, they witch, the real witch and evil inside. 
but they're very beautiful on the outside. So it's always about the inside, it's all about the outside. Right? So when you have time and peace and quietness and you try to meditate and you try to, you can be the old foot you want to be. Long as you're getting wiser, as you're getting older and you're getting older, you're getting wiser. Not when you spin a circle and don't realize that, look, I need to turn to the Lord. I'm shriveling up. I need to turn to the Lord. I have lots of loss in my life. I have lots of sign in my life, you know, and I need to try to set something for the generation. I don't want to just leave this behind. Being a fool. I want to be a wise woman. I want to have good thoughts. I want my thoughts to be magical. I want to manifest them. I want them to come to life. I want to be in a higher frequency. I want to love. I want to cook good food. I want to, you know, have good time with the atmosphere breathing. Thank God to be breathing in and out by yourself. That's a blessed piece of gift right there. It's not always a bunch of pretty stuff and vanity that's not going to make you happy. Because sometimes you're doing things to get it, and the things that you're getting to do to get it, damaging your soul. So when you get it, you still can't have peace. Because what you're doing to get it is damaging the soul. So even when you get it, you can't be comfortable with what you've gotten. It's just you're being slavery. You're spirit in slavery. Your soul is in slavery. So when you walk around in sin and think that you look better than everybody else and you're great at what you're doing and you're only doing sin, you're foolish. So people have a right to talk because you want them to talk, you're coming out and being foolish. You're showing the world how sinful you are. You're showing the world what you're thinking. You're not trying to do better, even in the last days. But you're miserable. And you are spirits upon you. And you can see it in your eyes and see it in you that they're giving you a one time. But you still won't give Jesus Christ a chance. Because you're too much into yourself and you're bigger than him and you want the whole world to see you on Instagram, see you everywhere. You want to be on top of the whole world watching you. And an enemy you can drop dead. And the world is not going to go with you. You're going to go by yourself. You cannot be bigger than other people that got life like you. You should share with them. Meditate with them. Have good thoughts with them. That's why you have social media to connect with your love. Connect with what you can share. What knowledge you can share. What knowledge someone else can share. What you can learn from each other. So in the last days we come together as one. Because we are waiting for the soon coming king. A lot of things is going to be taking place in 2023. So we are changing the way we think. We are changing the way we eat. We are changing the way we behave. Because we have to get back in line. We were way too out of line. Because the generation that's watching on the social media young, they're thinking they gotta be a certain way. A lot of them is in prison. A lot of them pick up things when they're not supposed to pick up at an early age. Some of them destroy their parents. They do all kind of crazy things. So you have to set more better example for them to learn that we all fall. And we all at a small place, but then we grow in knowledge and we become very powerful and very high. And that is what is going to change society. It's not always what I have on between your legs or your clothes to, to be like that, to show the world that you're great. You're always great when you're beautiful. You can still wear long dress and be great. When you wear a short stuff, it depends on how you wear it. You can be great. Nobody said a change and not wearing what you got to wear. Just be great. But some people overdo it. And they no longer be great. They don't look in a certain way like, oh, they ain't got much class. You know, they just, nobody take them serious, you know. They don't have the class. They don't have enough sense how to put themselves together and how to have class in a certain dress in a certain way, you know, when it's time for you to do that. So then people look at you like, oh, you're not really here, you know. It's a joke. And people watch because they have nothing better to do. You know, and laugh. But at the end of the day, you got to get it together and say, you know what, it's a new time. Time has been changed, a new world order. 
new beginning is coming and a lot of bad people are going only the chosen ones who are coming together to eat well and to have good communication with knowledge with power are going to survive what's coming you're only going to be able to hold yourself together if you're going to eat for days you can survive on water you can survive you know not eating a whole bunch of stuff because you've been training your body not to eat a bunch of stuff and you've been eating good stuff because you're chosen you know you're, you're going to be on a battlefield so you have to be ready because when you're with god and god is with you you're always going to be in a battlefield there's no way you're going to be free and just walking around okay no it's always going to be a battle for you to fight because the devil knows you're not serving him you won't serve him you're not going to stay with him you're not he has nothing to give to you you have nothing to gain from him you have done enough you have worked for him all these years and you have nothing and you realize that now so he do not want you to be right he do not want you to be conscious he wants you to eat the stuff that makes you unconscious he wants you to stuff your gut so you have no time to think but you have enough time to sleep but not to think, to lock your pineal gland, to close your third eye, to get you slow. So you walk around in this one world and making circle around. And you go around and tomorrow you wake up and you circle again. Same place around. And the next day, the next week, and the next month, you'll be doing the same thing. But you don't think that you can do something else. Just because you don't think that you're powerful enough. Just because you don't trust in the most high God that give you the power to make you powerful. You know what I'm saying to you? So yeah, I could talk as much as I want. Because you run around and you run around and try to make something that is going. Dance all is going, is running away. And you're running it down. Just sing for God. If you want to sing, you have a talent. That's why I give it to you. If he give it to you, just sing for him. Sing joyful noise. Make joyful noise unto the Lord. With your voice. You understand? If Whitney Houston was doing that, she'll be still here today. All of them was doing that, they would be still here today. Making joyful nights to the Lord. They would have been still here today. Right? So when God gives you a talent, you have to use it. But sometimes the devil give you a talent too. You understand? You make certain amount of sacrifice and things. And then the demon comes to sing with you when you go to sing. They're like, whoa, you really got the talent. Boy, you could hear the voice. But that's a demon singing, it's like a demon could talk in you. A demon could sing in you, just the same way. So, you know, knowledge is power. Get yourself together. Be who you got to be. And if you got to tell somebody something, don't afraid to tell them. Tell them the truth. Because, you know, sometimes when you don't tell people the truth, they're leading on the wrong path. If you have a child and the child is going wrong, it's best for you to tell the child. Instead of the child straight to the wrong path. And that's what I think. We're in the last days when the Father God is coming. And we have to get it together. Nobody's fussing about dance hall. Nobody. Because dancehall is actually running away. Dancehall is going. Dancehall is not staying anymore. So you're wasting your time. Just seek the Lord and sing. Big up to Marion Hall. God bless you, Mrs. Marion Hall. God bless you and God be with you, ladies. Uh, Marion Hall, God bless you. And Spice, God bless you as well. But I don't think you're coming back to dancehall. And if you come back to dancehall, shame on you. But I don't think you're going to make it back to dancehall. Because I think God already clipped your wing. For you coming back to dancehall. I know why you come back to dancehall to do. Because it's over now. And the time you left till now, you see, just if you did that, so people talk about it, let's get over here, and they don't even gone. And the silence come just like now. If you did that, the same thing. Gone, the silence will come just like now. Just for sure that your soul is important to God. Because when something happens to you, people talk about it one week, one, two weeks, and after that, you're gone. So you have to slick here, and she's gone. Donna Lee, she's gone. After a while, you're gone. You know? You got to keep going, living life. You got to keep going. And that's why it's important to guard your soul. That's why it's important to keep your soul. Don't sell a soul for vanity. Don't use your soul for certain things. Your soul don't belong to you, belongs to God. And when you attempt to do that, you're hacking your soul. You're hacking who you are. So you don't expect anything good to happen to you after that. Why would you buy a bag for $2,000, $3,000, a pair of shoes for this, for that, for that, a house, a car, two more cars, three more cars, but you're tossed and turning one side of the bed. You can't get no sleep. You're sleeping pill to sleep. You can't make it. Demons in your house, walking up and down. But you got these pretty things in your house. You got this big bedroom set in your house. These couches, this stuff. You have all that money. Right? Like I was saying to a girl today who was walking, I was like, um, 
Some people go and buy a shirt for $50,000, maybe $100,000 for a shirt or a pants or even a dress or whatever. And you got the same fake one for $20. And when you put it on, it looks the same, right? And you're going to take that money and give to somebody else and help them and buy the one for $20, right? Instead of use all that money to buy one piece to show off to each other that, look, I got a real one on and I pay this much money for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, to me, it's crazy because you're going to spend all that money that you have that you can help somebody else with and buy the cheap one instead of you're going to buy the one for 100000 not because you work for the money or it's your money, to spend it so foolishly without no blessing on it. It's like, it's so it's so nasty, you know? Because there's people out there that are hungry, you know, starving, babies, mother, and just someplace for a cup of clean water in Africa, someplace all over. There's needs in every country, everywhere. And you're going to spend that much money on yourself, not because you have it. To buy that much for something you're gonna buy it for twenty dollars and it look the same when you put it on you could have helped somebody else for the rest of the money the other eighty thousand or the other fifty thousand could have been great joy to somebody's life but you all don't think about that you think about us being the world and show off and buy the most thing and show off on each other which is not gonna put you nowhere because it's all sin and you're gonna die you're gonna have to leave that shirt that pants whatever money you pay for it it's still not gonna save your soul it's gonna just bitter your soul because you're not doing the will of god when god put that money in to bless you that you could have spent that much to do that he give it to you so you could have blessed somebody else so you could have bring goodwill to your soul you know to show that you're pure in the sight of god and god would even give you more and more that you can give more but you still will never need but instead you want to buy something for that much money that much money and just keep bleeding. Some people are busy, they charge so expensive for the little stuff that they have, and just bleed more money out of poor people to put in their pocket more and more when they didn't have to even sell it that expensive. You know what I'm saying? Just to do more and bleed them more. So when you look at these people, they greed. And when you greed and you sin and you're caught up in your greed like that, and you ate full in this world that you can't take with you, that's all you're going to live for. That's all you're going to live for. You ain't going to live for nothing else but the greed that you possess and the wickedness and the evilness. That's all you was known for on the earth. That's all you possessed. And the last breath that you take and left this earth, you see that you wasn't shit. You realize you wasn't no motherfucker. You was a shit bag. Because you're taking your last breath, leaving all that money in the bank, all that property, and it was empty and people couldn't find a way to live. But you couldn't see it in your heart. It's like, they don't have a way to live. I want this much for it. And because you can't get that much for it, you probably have it locked up for months, years, because a person might have a $1,000 less. Are even two thousand dollar less than what you want for it, and before your colleagues say, Yes, one for fifteen hundred, and the person have thirteen hundred, might give you, you don't want the thirteen, you want to lock it up and do it out the thirteen hundred dollars just because you're gonna get it because greed you call that greed, you call that greed because you lock it up like nah, I give them for that for two hundred more number, I lock it up and you lock it up and just have it here empty. That is greed, that is not nice because God bless you with a roof, you bless somebody else. God bless you, the plate of food, you bless somebody else. You try. You're in the position. That's why you're here to do your duty. Everyone is here to do a duty. And it's to help each other. We was never supposed to separate it. We were not supposed to be like animal to each other, hurting each other, lying to each other, stealing from each other, coming like a living animal from hell. This is not humanity. This is slavery of the mind, slavery of the soul. There is no peace. Everybody want peace. And the only way to find peace is through Jesus Christ, Father God and His Son, and the Holy Ghost. Because the world that you're looking at is like a paper that you can tear. There's nothing in it. It's real. It's like something that draw on a piece of paper, you can just rip up the paper and it's done. God could just rip up this place like a paper in no time. The only thing that will be saved is a soul, your soul. That will save you, your soul. Without the soul, they don't have nothing. Without the soul, they can't recon it. Without the soul, they can't see God's face. Without the soul, they can't make it to every gate. You need that soul. So when you sell the soul, you have nothing. You remain in this hurt. You remain in haunted house. You remain in spirit to and fro. Haunting up and down in spirit, showing up people. Door trying to scare people, doing all kind of stuff. Because it doesn't have no resting place. You're doing the same thing like when he was alive. Evilness. That's all you was and that's all you went out and that's where you remain. In darkness. You live in darkness and you remain in darkness when you go out in darkness. You will not come to the light. Because the light is Jesus Christ. God said, let it be light and there was light. So what are you without no light? Ain't you in the darkness without no light? 
without no light, anything could happen in the darkness and you can't see it, right? Because you're in the dark. So how can you see in the dark whatever comes? You can't see what's coming when you're in the dark. Well, you can see what's coming when you're in the light. You can see what's coming. You can see who's coming towards you. But when you're in the dark, you can't see nothing. You're just in the dark. You have no light. You can't see. So things of this world must go, but your soul shall remain. And if you're not trying to teach a generation that they have a soul, and the soul mean more than rapping, more than big put on big chain and go rap and this and that and bring on the devil hell from hell, and then after that, your ears are gone. Something happened to you. Your life is for you to live. Your life is never for someone else to live for you or you to live somebody's life. You have some people who start dating them and they start texting on you. They want to live your life. They don't want to know where you go. Ring your phone. This, that. Follow you around. Call the phone. They can't get no peace. Those are spirits. Normal people don't act like that. Those are spirits. If you have somebody good in your life and a high frequency and they are on a high frequency, you don't have to worry about them when they go somewhere and come back. You're in a relationship with them because you are got a trust. They know what they're dealing with. They know what demon they're fighting. So they do not want to involve themselves in that. So you can trust them because they know better. But somebody that you don't know better and a low frequency, you can't trust them. They're a woman, there's a man, there's a this, and a random guy, and it's not there. Their DNA has been changed. The food they're eating, twisting the DNA, changing them into non-human human being. They're more like a robot. Start to think like a robot type in the same circle. Not thinking they can do more. You understand me? Because God made man of his own image. Times is going to come and a lot of things is going to change. A lot of things is going to change. So if you're not ready, you're not going, you're going to left behind. You got to start thinking and realize that you're powerful. And if I know this way today, I would be rich. But God has to break me down to bring me to knowledge, ain't it? And power. Things have to happen for you to start listening to God and listening to him good. At a time, you have no time because you're listening to music, you're dancing, you're this, you're that. You're up and down. You don't have no time for listen. You have friends back and this and that and all kind of sitting. You don't have time. You're going to do the time you go sleep. You wake up your God like you have nobody to responsible for you. And all this time you wait and you're doing everything that you got to do. If you have to go over your money, you wait for you. If you go over your money, you come back for your money the way you want to do it. You still wait for you. You see all the wrong that you do, but you still wait for you. That's how God work. You know, this man, all the things you do, you seen you. And he could have cut you off here and then, right there and then. But he give you a chance. Because you have a purpose for you. You have to bring you through a lot of things and bring you up. So when you talk, you have the experience. What you're talking about. You're not just saying something that you don't know. God is here and God is coming back. The angel already started to appear every fork on the earth. I'm not a Christian, I'm a sinner. But I'm a true believer of God. And I know if the devil exists, God exists. And I know if earth exists, heaven exists. And I know the soul is real. I know that you come here for a purpose. You come here for a certain amount of time and you won't be here no more. So you have to take every day you have and thank God that you are right. Be joyful. But don't leave God out of your plan. Don't leave your thinking out of the plan. Your connection to the universe out of the plan. Don't leave it. That's why I don't eat no goat, no cow, no pork and all of that. Them heavy spirits. No axe tail, no cow foot. No white bread. No cheese. No milk. No candy. Right? Because I want to be able to see in the light. And when I eat certain food, it brings you back into the dark. It brings you back to want man more. Your body feel more turn on. Your nature rise more. When you eat certain food from the store. It causes you to sin more. When you eat certain food, it gives you a peace of mind. To think godly. And to be peaceful. That's how it does. That's just how it goes. <clears throat>
Yes, yes, Carol Thomas. 2003, lots of changing is coming. It's happening. Yes, it's happening right now as we speak. A lot of changes is coming right now as we speak. I come from a far way dancing in G-string and stuff, and I know some people can't do what they want to do. But what I'm saying, we have no time for that right now. We need to group up. We need to get together and start to change our eating, our lifestyle, how we think. Um, the thinking of a lot, the devil ride your mind. Like yesterday, I was having a good day, you know. The devil come to ride my mind, to ride me down, you know. And I have no control or whatever I have to do right now, you know, what I'm taking care of. But he just ride me down sometime, but I just say, you know what? You ain't going to bring me down all the way down because I have God. And I know, you know, if I was serving you, even if I had a place and I have all that money and everything, I still wouldn't be doing good, you know, because I'd be going to hell, you know. And hell started now in your life. It doesn't wait for you to die before hell started. When you're a person of sin, hell started now. You live in hell now. You're going to hell with the people in your house, people around you, the person you date, at your job. Hell started now. And that's why you need God now. You can't wait till later. Because L started now. Peace, peace come within the mind from the Holy Spirit. You cannot be peaceful without the Holy Spirit because you always get interrupted by the devil. You always bring some kind of vanity or some low kind of material things to interrupt your spirit with the Holy Spirit. Because when you know when he left you, you don't leave any material things, but you want to interrupt your spirit. He wants you to feel desperate, you know, like you know, have nobody else, you know. But you have God. And he goes as far as that. But you can't do it without the Holy Spirit because you can't think straight without the Holy Spirit. The demons are people come in and attack you. They come in and jump your body. They take over your body. Spirits live in your body. You got to have the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You got to have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You got to believe in it because these are the times where the spirits are jumping your body. Not these people that you see singing and singing and jumping on stage and carrying on, they're full of demons. That's why they're jumping up on stage and singing with a mic and a carry and all kind of something. That is a demon spirit taking them over. That's a demon spirit you're watching. So you yourself have to know who you're talking to. You can't be having a conversation with a person you think is a person, is a demonic spirit inside of the person. And a person want to take set on you because it's a demon in them. That's not the person. It's just a shell with a demon, but a demon possessed to, 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 to on you. The person want to talk to you all the time. They want to call your phone all the time. They want to, you know, do all kind of stuff. They want to get close to you. And you're saying, why this person is so close to me? Why did just, I just move here, you know? Call me every minute because he was a nice person. A demonic spirit. Because a demonic spirit looking through the eyes of the person looking at you and planning what they're planning. The eyes are the window to your soul. And you look at somebody's eyes, you can see the evil within their eyes if you have the spirit of God. You can see that they're, they're full of demonic spirit. You can see their trouble. You can see their pain. You can see their suffering. You can see everything. Because you have the eyes, when you look at them one time, you see everything. And you mind your business. You quick click, you click at your God. You don't sit here looking at somebody. Because when you have special eyes, you can't just sit here and looking at people and they're looking back and staring your eyes. You can't do that. That's old school. We don't do that no more. That's old school. We don't make people stare in your eyes, I'll panic you, and you people, I look back, I look back upon them. We don't do that stuff. That's old school. That's when it wasn't spiritual. Because the minute you sit here looking at somebody, they're looking at you, just like when a man want to date you. As some woman want to take man, they be looking at the man, like I look upon the guy, I look up upon her and I look. It's through the eyes, the eye, through the eyes. Because the eyes are the window to the soul. And they start to look at each other, they have a connection. Next time they catch a bus, they see each other, they train, they see each other again until they finally exchange a number. And they hook up with each other because they were looking. And it never worked out. Even though both of them were looking. So you cannot play with your eyes, looking in somebody's eyes. 
you have to be very careful with that because they take your soul. They're actually trying to possess you with a demon while they're looking in your eyes. They are saying in their mind what they want to say, what spell they're putting on you. And they're talking to you about another conversation, but they're putting a spell out their mind into you through your eyes. The conversation they're having with you is just to cover the act that is stealing your energy right in front of your eyes. A lot of time people stop you to ask you what time it is, and they got a phone. The map, they're going somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And they can, and without you, they would have find their way. But they want to talk to you. And when they tell them all the time, they still want to continue talking to you. You understand me? With whatever, you got to walk away. You realize not the time they really want is your energy. They stop you to have a conversation, look in your eyes and take your energy. They bump into your car for you to come out of the car, start arguing to take your energy. They use a shopping cart in the supermarket and bump into you with a shopping cart for you to turn around and start arguing to take your energy. They mess with your kids for you to get mad, people messing with your kids to take your energy. They come to your house, sit and talk with you, but they come with bad, bad energy. They leave your children sick. They leave your house smelling some kind of way like sulfur. Something that they come there and did. They come to your house, you lose your job. Everything going on in hell, you're losing your husband. Because you won't stop left ne negative energy inside your house, around your children, in your place. This is not the time that you can play around anymore because the demons was always here. But now we know they come into the people that are close to you or the people that could get an angle at you. That's the one they use. They like to use people that could get control of you, like somebody where you live with or somebody you're close to, somebody you got to deal with so they can get into them and they could face you all the time. So now you can't trust people up and down in your house. And if you have a man to deal with, he can be out there cheating on you. And you cannot be out there cheating on him. Because that simply means that you don't realize you're not spiritual enough to realize that feeling of the flesh is nothing comparing of the Holy Spirit and what you're going to gain. Not using the flesh if you don't have a husband. You don't have to feel for the old bunnies. You don't need to run on a man. Someone that like, can't live by without a man. Want to live with a man. And a man by my side. Yes, you must live without a man. Because that's the time you realize who you really is. How powerful you is. You have time to think, to clean yourself properly. Fix yourself and love yourself. Look at who you are. Know yourself before the time come for you to left this earth and you don't even know your own self because you always have the time for somebody else but not for your own self. When a person come in your life and they're about the flesh and they get them coming in your life, all they're going to be the lying on your back and giving them flesh. That's not going to bring your knowledge and power. And sometimes your relationship don't work out because God wants you to be by yourself so he can give you the knowledge and the power. He wants to help you. He wants to redeem your soul. He wants to scrub you clean. He wants to put you up there on a higher pedestal. You know that you never get respect being a stripper. I've been a body sucker, so he wants you to have respect now. He wants to put you up on a higher pedestal for you to understand who him is and who the Holy Spirit is and how it can change your life and make you into a better person, a cleaner person, an understanding person. So when you get somebody in your life, you won't be running around cheating with them and all this bugga bugga up and down. Because that's not cleansiness. You can't be the throne of God and people that come inside here and I lay up on you, lay up on you and I do all kind of something in your body. That is not cleansiness. That is not the Holy Spirit can't connect to you if you're living so dirty inside. You have to clean it up and just believe in the most high and just, you can't be trapped for the rest of your life. You can't be a slave for the rest of your life. With God, you're no slave. It's only peace you will find even through the storm and the earth, he still comforts you. And the devil will bring you down and start to cry and feel down, but then he bring you right back up again and balance you again. Because he had a plan. He had a plan in store for you. He has something for you.
But if you're not thinking about what he has for you, and not sowing the seed of thinking to manifest it, oh, you're going to get it. You're just going to sit down there and say, Lord, 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 and Lord, I pray to God, I'm going to get a blessing on this and that. But what are you doing to get a blessing? If you have a bar of soap, somebody will buy it. That's how you get a blessing. Because you're spinning the wheel. You're not sitting down and fold your hand. You're trying to do something, and that's something you make it prosper. That's how it works. You can't sit down and say, I pray to God every day, I'm not on the money, I broke me this and that. You're not doing anything at all. You know, I plant no seed. I am going to make the seed grow. But you have to put the seed down in the ground. So if you now put no seed in the ground and rain and fall, you might give you all the seasoning that you need when the, the, the time. All the seasoning that you need. In giving you in that time that the crop would grow. And you sit down there and say, Lord, and you can't get up with a seed and rain a fall in dirt, nice, good season in my gear. So your crop will grow. And you don't put on no seed in there. What do you expect to grow? You expect him to go to the photo, have my sending here, gentlemen, come take my shade, come dig up field and put it in the field. Him give me the strength, him give me the health, and him give me the knowledge, him give me the power. And him going to make the seed grow. A foolish man is a sinful man. A sinful man is a foolish man because when you're so sinful and keep being sinful, you don't get no knowledge from God. You only get knowledge when you're praying. You want to do better. I want to do better. I don't want to die in sin, y'all. I want to do better. Because everything that you touch outside here must go one day. It must go. It's only your soul will remain. And that's good enough for me. So brothers and sisters, buckle your belt. Enjoy your life. The bad news is not enjoy your life. You know, if you walk stiff and this and that, enjoy your life. But always keep the most high within you. So you don't have to be foolish. Don't run down things that take a lot of energy out you and it's not God energy you're not God the energy for. Because I even supply you with it. Don't use the energy to foolishness. You need the energy to stay in your body, to help you, to sustain, for you to live longer. Don't run around like no fools. Because the fools that run around and being fools, you know, they have no knowledge, they have no power. You only could talk, and, uh, but they ain't got no power. Because the power comes from God, and if they ain't got God, they ain't got no power. So who they, how, how they gonna come to you, baby? How are they going to come to you and beat you in anything and argue with anything and in the power, the the blood of Jesus? I rebuke them. That's why I say, Queen, you can't come to me. Come here, the blood of Jesus. I mean, destroy her spirit with that. Because they get a platform for a reason, but they keep ignoring God. They mean to the flesh, the seasoning. A flesh. Now season of plant, not seed, you know. Flesh. But you have to thank God for you. You have to thank God. Oh, he helped you that you don't want the flesh because you used to love the flesh too. You used to be as worse too. So you can't get mad with somebody else when they like that. You only can say, well, look forward to God so he can work with you. Just like he work with me and working with me. You can't be a hypocrite or judgmental because you was the same. But you can spread your knowledge as you grow them. You can share. And let a person know, I waste a lot of time because I was foolish. Don't be foolish. You waste a lot of time when you're being foolish. Because man, come and tell you to look a sweet when you're going to play and smile up with him when you're going to bed, going to lay down with him. And you're stronger than that. You're powerful more than that. That when the right one come, when the devil sends one come, you don't take him. You wait until God show the right one. That have knowledge and power. When a person have knowledge and power, they don't care about the flesh that much to go out and start cheat. If they do share feelings with a partner, sometimes they do. But they don't love it as much. They like knowledge more. They love God more. They like them good food more. You know, having a good woman is a good partner, comfortable around you, more than just giving them flesh. 
The mind is more than the flesh. It doesn't make sense to lie with somebody and you don't have a good intention for them in your mind. They don't have a good intention for you, but they're sleeping with you. That's just demonic. Because you will never stick together and see in a relationship like a pastor around donkey. You go date somebody else and date somebody. It's like you have no resting place. That's why you have to know yourself and take the time for yourself and forget about the flesh. Especially if disappoint you so many times because you have a lot more things to do than just with the flesh. What about the spirit? Your own spirit and flesh. So when a person thinks they can, a demon come in and tell you and use you and contaminate your body with spirit. You're not getting along, but you're not leaving them because you're possessed by them. That's why every time you try to leave, you can't leave and all that. It's tying you up. It's a spirit. Only God could break that chain. Break it. Scatter your enemy. Break it. Start being up by green lime and break it. And make it go back to the pit of hell. But you have to know who you are and stand up for who you are because you're more than who you think you are. And you're not this little bit of person, this little bit of just flesh and a person. Your spirit is way higher than that. And when your body passed away, your spirit could never die. Your spirit is an everlasting life. Your soul. The spirit contained into the soul. There is a spirit. But it contained into the soul. That's where it lives within the soul. It don't live within the mind or the body. It lives within the soul. The soul and the spirit are bind together. When the soul goes and the spirit and you close and you pass away, the spirit goes with the soul. And that spirit makes it seem like you have a new body. The spirit is like you have a body. Called spirit. And the soul is still within that spirit. And then this body would left around. Your body would left alone and gone. But the spirit will travel with the soul and gone. That's why sometimes you see some people when they passed away. And they vision you, you saw them with the next body. Because of the spirit, it's like an ex extra body. And the soul live within it. That is why when your soul is good with the spirit, you replace, you got a new body that won't take away from you. You'll keep that body. You'll face God with that body. And if you go to hell, you go to hell with that body and burn and have feelings just like everything else because that spirit is another body. It's like a second body, but it's a spiritual body. It's not one that you can see with your eyes. And the soul live within it. So that's why when you pass away, the body is dead, but the soul is still alive. The spirit is still alive. You still travel on. It's never the last end. That's why you have heaven and earth. It's never the last end to say, well, you die and you just, that's it. You're gone. No. You have to stand up for judgment day. Well, if there is no God, then you are nobody. Because God made man of his own image and he make you a God. So you can be here and talking right now. So you can have health. He makes you a God. That is why you can manifest and think about magic things and things happen because you're a God. So if God makes you a God, why would you say there is no God and there is no heaven? If you're living in hell right now and hurt, don't you think it's a heaven? No, I know not a fantasy for me, not when I prove to God. God proved himself to me. It's not a fantasy. I tell the devil, get behind me, Satan. You're a liar. You're a liar. There's a living God. A living Jesus Christ that was crucified, so get behind me. There's no God for you. But there's God for a lot more people. And don't tell me that there is no God. If you don't believe there's no God, that's on you. 
that's on you, but I believe there is a God because he blessed me and he helped me and without him I wouldn't be alive today. There is no penalty for heaven. Well, that's on you. That's what you think so, but it's a penalty. God told you. That's why you have his the scripture of the Bible tell you a lot of things and some of them is not true, but it tells you a whole lot. It's only a pure heart. <laughs> you got to be light as a feather, brother. You got to do good. If you think there is no penalty, then you can do anything to anybody and the you can be reckless and evil to other people because you don't have to pay for it at the end of the day. And what kind of person could that be? What kind of person can you really be? I'm just having a conversation. I'm not disrespecting anyone. I'm just saying how I feel. I'm not here to argue with anyone. I'm just here to do my life and to talk and to express myself. And the way I express myself is through the Holy Spirit that gave me knowledge. Not might understand me and don't have to understand me. And I might not have to understand you. I understand that. And that's okay. That's fine with me. But I'm still going to express myself for the blood of Jesus Christ, our living God. I don't believe in Christmas. I believe in God, but I don't believe in everything. I don't believe in Christmas. Christmas is like voodoo. I don't believe in Christmas. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess Jesus Christ is Lord. Thank you so much, Douglas. God bless you. Yeah, you're welcome, um, Chris. So, Chris. Yeah. Curtis, sorry. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah, I can't stop nobody from what they want to believe, you know, but I got to believe in what keep me alive, you know, what, what keep me up, that keep me more, you know what I'm saying? Change my ways, you know what I mean? I don't want to screw around, mess around, doing bad things, you know, having sugar daddies, you know, just living this kind of life of pain, of arguing with me, you know, giving me all the money because, you know, live with your wife and all this, living this life of, you know, eating everything and just be a big slug, you know, eating everything I could find in the store, getting sugar daddy, you know, just go to smoke, go to my bed, you know, wake up in the night, eat some more stuff, just walk around with a heavy body, you know, with a heavy mind and just don't care what I do. And, you know, it just don't make no sense. And then God come into my life, you know, and he come into my life and show me that I don't have to be that miserable. You know, my face don't have to look so twist up, make can look more pleasant, you know. When I eat certain things, I can feel more better about myself. I start to have high frequency, you know, understanding more knowledge and how powerful God is. And it changed me that I don't have to live a certain way. I don't have to live a certain way. I don't believe a man have to look at me for me to drip my pants up to my bottom for a person to like me. And that's what is that nobody have to like me. That's how I felt, you know. I started to do things that I shouldn't be doing and things that I, I can't do no more, you know, that I used to do. My life has changed. My life has changed. I've become a better person. I'm a more present person to the world. I'm a more pre present person to the generation, you know, than just living in sin and just be a brute and just be stupid running around. You know, nobody's here forever and you're here to grow and to do a lesson and to learn and to teach and all of that and to exchange. And that's why we're here. So I understand everybody ain't got to believe the same way. You're not going to dislike somebody because of what they believe. It's just what you believe is what you believe and that's it. Yeah, thank you so much, Douglas. Yeah, because all the world is going right now, you know, without God, how can we make it? You know, people died of COVID, you know, how many? When I got that stuff, I didn't think I was going to live. I couldn't breathe at all. And I said, Father God, one thing I asked you for, if I could wake up one day and breathe like I used to could breathe, that's why it's important it was to me just to breathe. I would appreciate. I could just go to bed, sleep, wake up, do all that bad feeling, get a good sleep. You could close your eyes like in the dead you're traveling. You're so tormented going through these towns and these places and you're just traveling. And when you wake up, you're not sleep. You're tired when you wake up. And you're glad to wake up because it's kind of nightmare that you're going through. You're glad to be back in reality. But when in reality, you know, you're still dying and you can't breathe. So when God, you know, when I said Lazarus, I feel like I was dying. And I said, Lazarus, come forth, Lazarus. And I was like crying out to God and God hear me. And today I can breathe. And I change a lot more each time. 
you know, not because I want to, because I have to, because how he leads me to save my soul. Change me from that character, from that, that demonic spirit. Bring me more into the light and guiding me and protecting me and pushing me forward because I have a lot more things to do before time comes for me to leave this place. Right? I'm not going to be in New York forever because I have to go somewhere in the bush where I can get bush tea and my healthy food and just live. I don't want to live in a foreign lifestyle. I want to go somewhere in some countryside and stay somewhere. No one likes to go, oh, so my comfortable water not coming for me. I'm good to go on certain things, but I'm not like trying to live, stay in New York City up and down and this thing, no. Because we all got to put our bags together and pack in, and because it soon be a change, you know, we all got to go. And we'll be better off. We'll be more loving, more kind, more peaceful, less sickness, less debt, less hatred. Because we ate each other for no reason. I don't hate somebody when I talk about them. I just take them at joke because I say they're foolish in what they're doing. But I love everybody. Who am I to eat when God give me love? When I'm connected to the universe to love? Who am I? But every man have a time when they sit down and for you to feel a soul to be feeling good and free where you could take a deep breath and you can breathe, you feel good within your soul without feeling pain. Without feeling like, you know, you're fed up. And sometimes the feeling coming up, you feel like fed up, like, you don't feel like, man, I'm fed up, I feel like, no, I'm making no more, I'm fed up. But then the devil got you down, but then you have to remember God again and bring you back up again to say, no, 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 God ain't going to go through this for nothing. God is always not going to give away again, man, just go through, just pray and go through. You know, God is real. And that I know. And nobody can stop me from believing that because he helped me. And he's still helping me right now. It's in my lean pan right now. And you ain't got to be a Christian. Just got to be yourself. See, that's why people mistake Christianity and being a self. Some people say they're a Christian and they say that praise God, hallelujah, but they don't know themselves. You need to know yourself. That's your Christianity. It's knowing who you are. Because through knowing who you are, knowing God, and through faith, you don't need no church. You don't need nobody, no bunch of nice, a preacher, hallelujah, jump up and around you. Once you know yourself and you connect to the Holy Spirit, you know God. So knowing yourself is the biggest thing to connect. And once you connect, like a phone line, like an internet, you connect. You know everything else starts to come to you. So, for you to have a peaceful life, you have to know God, to know yourself. So you can know for deal with your children, know for deal with your husband. You are might in a banger and I'm probably in a scream and carry on and broke up things in the house and carry on. And neighbor can't hear your business. You're not going to do that. Because you're more knowledge of the Holy Spirit and you're eating certain things. You're not going to, you're not going to say, you're eating things that may be more calm. You come and say, babe, sit down on the couch, so come with a talk. So and so, and you sit down your reason with each other and you fix it. As two big people with knowledge and power, you fix it. You don't go ahead and break up things and come out a fight or run out a throat close, neighbor come out a look, everybody light come on. That's foolish. That's demonic. That's misery. That's hell. That's not how you're supposed to live. That's sin. That's corrupt the soul. But when you have a peaceful, you have, you have knowledge, you deal with things differently. You're more peaceful. You're more quiet. You deal with things better. But when you're all out here without no God and everything, you this and that and really, next thing you know, somebody lose their life. You're going to prison for the rest of your life. So knowledge gives you power and understanding how to live your life to stay out of trouble, to stay out of sickness, to stay away from death. But through knowledge, it comes to Jesus Christ. Because when I didn't have no knowledge, if I had the knowledge I have now, I would be a rich woman. So my eyes was completely blind. Me couldn't see. Me couldn't see none at all. You understand what I'm saying to you? Me couldn't see. But when you have God, you start to see. Where you can turn a dollar in a four. You can turn three dollars in a four dollars, three dollars in a five dollars, or six dollars in a twelve dollar. The simple fact is because you have the knowledge now, you have the power now. Because you wasn't thinking before. 
and you put the wheel in spinning and it start to work for you. Because you start to pray, you start to think, you know, you realize you're bigger now. You feel yourself bigger because you connect with the universe, you can feel that you're not that small no more. Because you're not alone. So when you're alone, that's a problem when you think you're alone because you're in darkness alone. But when you're in the light, you're not alone. You want a cigarette, No, I don't smoke cigarette, honey. Don't come in here like that. Please. It's coming here like that. I could have come and steal something from somebody. We are coming in here for. What if you have cigarette for sale? I thought it was the other girl coming because she was outside. I know it's somebody strange coming here. Coming here. So you could have something and come in here and take it up. Yes. Cigarette. You know what I'm saying? Cigarette. I never smoke cigarette. I smoke a little weed. I don't smoke no cigarette. I don't drink alcohol. I don't use the flesh. I don't eat the flesh like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't drink the soda. I don't eat the candy. And all this stuff. Once in a while, I get to an apple turnover, you know. More milk. I drink some almond milk. But that's about it. Ah, uh, She want to... Uh, it's with her. She want... Yeah. Us too. That's what I'm doing. Uh, me too. So true. Yeah, God bless all of you that are here tonight. I'm going to run. And so on. Just be you. Just be you and realize that if you don't believe in God, you can have a problem because God made man of his own image and he makes you. And he makes you for a purpose and you're here for a purpose. You have a duty. Just like you have a nurse, you have a doctor, you have a policeman, everybody have them duty. You have your duty for the two. True God. So don't let anything turn you away from that. Because when you don't believe in that and don't have that, then you're going to have a lot of problems. And the problems you have, they're never going to get solved. No problem can solve without Jesus Christ. None. None. And that's why come and he sacrifice. Try to rip off him head and do all the stuff they do. But the end of the day is, we are here, we got life, we are here, we got knowledge, we are here, we got power. And we heal in our own body. Because we're not putting all everything in our body and stuff and everything like we used to no more, so we can see clearly, so we can be more lighter. So we can understand more and have more knowledge. Instead of eating all our knowledge away, we eat some and leave some for space for knowledge. We might come on the internet and be foolish at first, but we grow. And that's why it needs to be, to grow so people can see you grow. They can understand God is with you and God is real because they see how God use you and how God grows you. And that encourage them that, oh, God is real. I ain't got to be in no damn church. I just got to know who I am. I just got to connect with him. It's between me and him and nobody else. Nobody can say you got to be this and you got to dress to the ground today. You wear like a stuff you want to wear and say, but your heart is where it concerns, your heart. Because what goes into heart goes into the soul. That's why you could spoil your soul for what you consume through the eyes. When you look at something, you consume it through the eyes and then it goes into the heart. And from the heart, it can move to the soul. So because of that, you don't want to get possessed by bad things. So sometimes you want to watch something, you don't bother to watch it because you know whatever you're watching is going to go to your eyes and go to your heart. You don't want to consume that into your soul. It's a poison to the soul. So your eyes don't want to see the poison that's going to poison the soul. Only one who could understand me who are there like me. Ones that don't understand me, I don't expect you to understand me because you don't have the ears to hear me even though you have ears. You don't have the eyes to see me even though you have eyes. But you have to have a spiritual ears and a spiritual eyes to see what I see and to hear me and to understand me and to connect with me because you're the same spirit connection as me and you understand what I'm saying. To other people, I was so mad, I was so foolish. 
But to the wise one, they will know his wise. They will know his knowledge. They will know his growth. They will understand. Because some of them passed my stage already. And I above me. And once they was at this stage, so they know where I'm at. So they won't look at me foolish. They can have a conversation with me. But the ones who think I'm foolish, they way off. Because they cannot see and they cannot hear. They're blind to this. They're stuck into this society. They're stuck into these realms. And they go round and round in the matrix and they can't see enough for past that. But when they can see past this world and how great you are and you are the greatest thing of all, you realize knowing you is the greatest thing. Is knowing yourself before you can know nobody else. Loving yourself before you can love nobody else. Have time to train your children right. Instead of running up and down and doing foolish things. Because they you make them very wise. They're gods as well. And they're pure. And they can save your life. Something can be happening to your child. Could come and tell them, mommy, you know, so and so and so. Don't do so and so. I dreamed that last night. And the same thing happened. They're messengers. You don't come here to be here and to stay here. You come here for this life journey of experience with each other. And to grow. And to love. And to care. And to understanding that Jesus Christ is Lord. Who will refuse him and turn their back against him? Go ahead if you think you're powerful more than him. Go ahead if you think you're powerful more than him. Because he's the one that make heaven and earth. He said, let be light and there was light. So everything must go. All vanity must go. All old scars, everything will go. And when you're running for your life, you'll only be running with your two feet trying to get to a place that you won't get hurt. You won't be worrying about where you're running away from. You will worry about where you're trying to get to. Your destination. Right? So like I said to you, whatever you believe in, I don't I have no problem with it. Everybody is due to their own belief, but I'm telling you what I believe in. So I'm not here to judge people. I don't judge people. I'm just saying we are running around in circle and we're foolish. And some of them big women in a dance hall, they're foolish because they're only wasting time. Because they're not putting on no work for the young generation, no good work, no good music. Constructive. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, what you say? I'm Curtis. I'm sorry to hear. No way. I'm sorry for your loss. Treasure, this is. What lost treasure? I don't know what lost treasure, Papa. I don't lost no treasure. My husband died. I want to connect. No, I can. Oh, you say your husband died, honey? He's a girl? God bless you. She said, my husband. And I'm sorry to hear that. Your husband died and you want to connect. Well, if your husband died, good, you need some time for yourself. You don't need to connect with nobody right now. You need some time for yourself. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry for your loss as well. But sometimes when people do their time, and sometimes he's already born already. Sometimes he's already gone and he's already born back and hurt already. He's already born already. Sometimes people come back again. Back on this earth because you have the duty to do. You've been here before. You come back again. To my condolence, it's probably born rebirth already. Depends on how you live. Like I said to you, the soul. That's what I'm trying to tell you about the soul, man. Keep your soul good because your soul you need to re re reincarnate, all kind of stuff. Just don't make people look at you. You're spiritual, you're not a human being. That's why when you pass away, it's never the end of you because you're not a human being. You have a human body and a spirit in the body and your soul. 
But when it come out, it's only shell left. That left behind. You understand what I'm saying to you? So I'm sorry. My condolence go to you, baby, Curtis. I'm sorry. But you'll be all right. Everything happened for a fine reason. You'll be all right. God is with you and he ain't going to let you go. And everything happened for a purpose. Just uplight yourself. Strengthen yourself. Power yourself. Think he's in a better place right now. Doing better, whatever. Just, just live your life now. Don't feel down from that matter because... Nobody wants you to feel down after they pass. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to enjoy yourself. Make whatever makes you feel happy. Make yourself beautiful. Cook your food that you like to eat. Enjoy. Pray and just enjoy your life. Nobody tell you to get up and broken like a church and this and that. Just know who you are. And so people come and they go. Just like that. I thought you see your husband die. That's somebody else. That's somebody else comment I read. Maybe sorry. You don't have a husband yet. I'm sorry. But you will get one. You will get one. Who say what the person husband died? I'm sorry. All right, so I think my mother came back to my daughter. Yes, they can do that. Yes, they can do that. Yes, they can do that. Good, they can reincarnate like that. Yes. You're going to see the difference. You're going to see the same action. You will know. Similar things that they do, you will know that they're making signs to show you that they're there. Yeah, so God bless you, and I love you. I'm going to go. I'm going to run. I'm going to run because I have to go and get a little snack. I don't know what I'm going to find because, you know, I eat healthy today. I love the place. I think the place is probably still open. I could get me some more quinoa. I like the quinoa. So I'm going to go because, you know, so my body and my body small. My love, you know, God bless you, know, and so on. I have this dress and I never wear it, you know. It's fabulous, isn't it? It's fun. I love you and God bless you. Now God gonna help me with my place and I have all these beautiful clothes. May I pack up in the storage with tags on them whenever we are and all these wonderful stuff I have. Beautiful clothes, nice, you know. And so I'm just want to get my place. So I'm gonna work it out. I get my place and that's it. And that's it. So I love you guys. God bless you. God be with you tonight. Enjoy your food, enjoy your family, enjoy the bed, enjoy your furniture, clean your house and make it smell good and enjoy your time that you're breathing. Enjoy that you know problem with nobody, no one, nobody, no money, nobody come from your house, come harass you, and stay away from people that have the obsession problem and want to follow you and watch your house and stay away from them. Get away from abusive people because when a man starts to beat you and abuse you, and over and over, they're not going to stop and you could end up taking your life. Get away from this demon expert because nobody loves you is going to be beating you over and over and drama in the house all the while. That person is full of demons. And when they're full of demons, one day they can just get mad at eating with something and never get up back again. Because the demon spirit in them and they continue doing it over and over. So now you got to look into yourself as a God and realize I'm dealing with a spirit and the spirit could see my light. This is dark and this is light. I'm light and he's dark. He's trying to destroy my light. You don't like my light. Everything irritating that I do, food I cook, everything I do for him irritate him. You know what I'm saying? Time for him to go. That is dark and I'm light. And that's how you got to look at it. So I love you. And God bless. I'm not I'm a skeleton of dance, oh, darling, even though I'm a good outfit. Eh? Eh, darling? Thank God for my little body. Eh? Feel comfortable. I feel good in myself. I just want to move out of here and that's it. And that's the only problem I have. And that's it. Call and get your cream, guys. Call and get your bleaching cream. 347-469-3874. And get your cream because I shipped out. I've been creaming again these days, you know, because, you know, i got to advertise the cream. 347-469-3874 and get your creams. Okay, 347-469-3874. And the cash up is Olivet Smelly, Olivet Smelly, Dollar Sign Tina Skin Care. Dollar Sign Tina Skin Care, and you're going to see Olivet come up on there and I'll get you shipped off and so on. So God bless you and so on and so forth. And these makeup are fabulous makeup. Got some beautiful colors. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know me get the hook up. 
<laughs> you know, when in the city, you get the hook up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love you guys and so on. Yeah, just enjoy yourself and enjoy your life, man. That's all I can tell you, because life's not promising tomorrow, but God always promising, and without God, you can't see the devil, they come. You can't see them come. When you have God, you won't be here, you can't see them come. You see the island poor, you see the wickedness, just dry yourself, no one can, you're a child of God. Cook your food, eat your food, and just be quiet and watch where I go on. Stay out of the bagger, bagger. Stay out of the mix-up. Don't go to people's apartment, go mix up their name, then come back in the same building, and then come to your place, and people are not by your door and gossip. You don't need all that because you're really God. You don't have time. You have time to think. We want to invest in her. We want to do where you want to travel to, what you like to do, what you like to create. You don't have time to create problems. You have time to create things. You understand what I'm saying to you? So I love you and God be with you, guys, and so on. Um, Sopina Dixon, tomorrow is not promising to any of us. Yes, that's right, darling. But with God, it's promising because you have work for you to do. Yes, Charlie, for sure. God bless you. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. We can't survive without. Um... Um, Curtis, I don't think you're foolish, Oliver. Thank you. <laughs> I was disrespected for a while, Sandy Spender. And still, oh, sorry about that. That's ease my body. I told him my body needs something. Started fart and big fart coming in my booty. <laughs> then fart just coming out. It's just gas. I love you <laughs> too. <laughs> you know, I love you too. Thank God I ain't got a man. Because imagine I got a man and I go to bed with him now. Because I'm doing something for so much years. I ain't doing it. I'll be farting a lot. That's the thing. You'll be farting a lot. That's why God, God is sending a good man. Because sending any kind of man, they want to start running. Because it's like a fart around them. They don't know what nature and understand nature, you know. <laughs> KK, how you doing? We love and appreciate you, Oliver. You are truly a blessing. Thank you, sweetie. Thank God for that, man, you know. I thank God for everything, goody. I thank God. You know, when people call me from all over and tell me they really appreciate the video and what struggle and stuff they're going through. I didn't know my video was that good, you know, like that. I just being myself. But I see, I just don't know how much life you're saving, you know, being yourself. You know. Yeah. I love it too, goody. And don't tell Queen if you come over here, you know, come at the Bible for her. And remember, say she have a mommy for her, a mommy day. I joke me and make her know, so me a comedian. When I can't go on, you know, because I don't mean nothing. Simone Phillips. Yes, yeah, Simone, I see that she's very hard. Uh, Simone Phillips now, she's a girl like this. She's very powerful as well. She's uh, she's very eye-opening and to one. She's very same too. She's very knowledgeable. I spoke to her a couple of times. She's here. The blood of Jesus will cover you. Keep you safe. Thank you, Mama. She's very um thing too. Knowledgeable. Love, peace, and blessing to you too, darling. Nedix, good night, on. Good night to you, baby. God bless you, too. God bless you as well. Brazil, God bless you as well. Yes, God bless all of you. Sandy, God bless you. Carol, God bless you. Rena, God bless you. God bless you, man. Carol Thomas, Sandy Spencer. Pina Dixon, yeah. I love God, I bless you too. Yeah, so that is what for today. That's just for today. So I love you guys, and I'm going to go. I'm going to take off the short wig back, and I'm going to put it back in a bag in the closet, and I'm going to clean my face off and put on my bleaching cream, you know. Yeah, you know. God bless you, okay? I'm going to drink a lot of water. I don't know what I'm going to find. I will see. And put my stomach, I don't know what. Maybe I'll just drink water and go to my bed because I don't know nothing else to make a fire. I can't really find nothing, but it'll make me feel sick. I'm going eyes swell big tomorrow. You know, when I eat something when I go for my goody, I make the shrimp and back of my eyes swell big and ugly all the time. Sometimes I can't find nothing else. I'm going to eat it. Next time I wake up, I look like frog. I'm a frog juice I'm put in my when I cook it. They have some kind of frog. Maybe they have some frog meat I'm put in my can I make frog legs sometimes. That thing will swell up me. Yeah, I'm looking like a frog, man. Most of the time, I'm in the shrimp and broccoli. I really look like a frog. I don't know why. Yeah, so I love you and God bless you. Have a wonderful night, my loved ones. Keep God first in everything that we do because that's all we have. And have a wonderful night. 
Yes, black is beauty, and I'm black, and I'm beautiful. Don't you see that? I'm black, and I'm beautiful. Go on and get your cream, guys, 347-469-3874. People don't buy cream because they just buy cream to lighten. A lot of people buy cream, they already light. But they must spot, and they want to get all the spots. They must spot between them legs, spots on them legs, spots on them face, and already light skin. So they buy the cream and take it off, you know, and people want to tone and what do they want to do? They do, you know. Like I said, people do what they want to do, you know. It's best you to move the spot and all your legs spot up between your legs, spot up and look like you have yards or disease. You can open your leg, you know, and stuff like that is worse. But you have to clean it off because you eat this bad food and these bad treatment and don't have time to take care of yourself. Sometimes your skin gets messed up, so you have to clean it up, clean up your life, you know. So nothing not wrong with that. You better take off a spot and I'll go put a spot spot between your leg and I'll go out. But your face look nasty. Like you have yards and something. And they spend a lot of money going to the doctor, you know. I go to dermatology a whole lot and you know help. But when they call me and buy my cream, the cream the skin come out good. So the cream is good. It's not for that purpose. Nobody's trying to change who them is, you know? Nobody. Yeah, with the brown.